boy, I tell you, these Bitcoin maxis are something else. You guys can see right here from the article from Protos, another bad Bitcoin bet has been made on P terms. Yeah, you guys can read it from the screen, what it really means or what the word really is. Who in the world made another terrible bet? Many people are going crazy about Bitcoin and its ability to try to run up to a million dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, all of these astronomical predictions that they're willing to actually place bets, money on the line. Just to prove a point, like what's the real reason as to why these individuals place these asinine bets to where it doesn't even benefit them? Let's talk about it. Those who spend any amount of time following crypto will likely be familiar with one of the most atrocious bets in recent memory. One year ago, Balaji Sertavan bet a couple of individuals on Twitter that Bitcoin would reach one million dollars in 90 days. Get that. Balaji. Bet it. One million dollars that Bitcoin, that Bitcoin could reach a million dollars in 90 days. He gave up on the bet in 45, 50 percent half the way. He gave up because he knew it wasn't going to happen. Now, he's going to turn around and make it seem as if it was like a publicity stunt so that he can bring the attention of how the debt cycle within the United States and other countries of the world it's just going to balloon. Here it is right here. It's on Twitter. Back in March, a year ago, 2023. Balaji, I'll take that bet. You buy one Bitcoin, I'll send $1 million USD. This is a 40 to 1 odds as Bitcoin is only worth $26,000 at the time. If you would have taken that bet, looking at the price of Bitcoin now at 67082 bucks you would have fared well on this bet like the odds were in your favor if you would have taken if you would have taken Balaji at this bet the term was 90 days that he was looking for Bitcoin to immediately shoot up to a million dollars then he comes out and he pays out the bet 97% on the target here you go right here A $1 million Bitcoin price bet has been closed out 97% under its target price. With backer Balaji choosing instead to donate a total of $1.5 million to three different entities as a settlement. Now, a $1 million to Balaji is not too detrimental to his pockets. I mean, he was the chief technology officer at Coinbase. As a settlement, Balaji paid pseudonymous Twitter user and self-titled hyperinflation doubter James Medlock $500,000. He donated $500,000 to Bitcoin Core developers and gave an additional $500,000 to the nonprofit charity Give Directly. And he did a tweet right here. I just burned a million dollars to tell you they're printing trillions. Now look at his face. Does it look like he's hurting for a million dollars? Was it worth him spending or letting go a million dollars just to prove to you that the economies of the world are printing trillions of dollars of fiat currency? Did it take a million dollars to do that? Would it have been better for him to place that million dollars somewhere else to give more public attention to the fact that the world governments are printing trillions of dollars every day, devaluing the paper that are currently in your wallets or your bank accounts? Now, it seems like it did work because many people talked about this situation of Balaji betting a million dollars that Bitcoin was going to go to a million in 90 days. But again, that just shows you the asinine bet, though. He's not the only one. Recently, another bet was made. Now, despite Balaji's humiliating climb down, a new bad bet has been placed this time by a Bitcoin maximalist and what did I mean and what Bitcoin did podcast creator Peter McCormick. He's the one up now 
who's making another crazy bet. The bet which hasn't yet been finalized due to the inability to find someone to escrow the money to hold the, the money is with Michael Green. So Peter McCormick is making the bet to Michael Green, the chief strategist for a company called Simplify. Specifically, McCormick, who called the terms of the wager P terms, bet Green a 5 to 1 odds in Green's favor that Bitcoin will hit at least $100,000 before the end of the year. Now, seeing that Bitcoin is now trading at $67,258, for Bitcoin to go $100,000 by the end of the year, it's not that even far. 41% move higher. Is that logical? Within the next eight months, nine months, is that logical for Bitcoin to run up to 41%? This means that if Bitcoin doesn't increase by 47% by midnight on December 31st, McCormick will owe Green a hundred thousand dollars. But if Bitcoin does hit the target, then Green will only have to give McCormick Peter 20, 20 grand, 20 racks. That's it. So why would you not take this bet? Because the odds are in Green's favor. Peter will have to give up more money off of this asinine bet just to see Bitcoin hit hundred thousand dollars by the end of the year. And if it happens, okay, he gets 20 grand. But if it doesn't happen, Peter will have to give Green a hundred grand. The odds are in Green's favor. It's not even a one to one. It's a five to one. When you have odds in that favor, you have to take that bet. Even if you don't have like $20,000 to put on the ground to place the bet. You need to find somebody because the odds are definitely in your favor that you will win on that bet. Here it is right here. This is the tweet right here. Why make it complicated? I trust Balaji. Let's each give him $100,000. If Bitcoin hits $100,000 this year, I take the money. If it doesn't, then it's yours. So at first, it was a one-on-one. -on -one. Michael Green responded, I'll take your bet if we scale it to, to size that allows legal documentation. Same applies to any other Bitcoin bros or their better halves. Balaji care to take him for 10 mil? Legally executed document, agreed custody, and proof of funds required. Green responded back on the 3rd of March. So you would not honor your terms? And then he goes on, talking about Peter, responds back to Mike's tweet. So you want the P terms. I originally offered one to one, but Black Swan was so P about it on his conviction, I offered him five to one. You can have the same P terms too if you want. So he's out here, Peter is out here making these asinine bets, five to one to Black Swan, five to one to Michael Green, that Bitcoin will reach $100,000 by the end of the year. He forks up $200,000. These two individuals, Michael Green and Black Swan, will have to give 20. Five to one. Excellent. So $1 million payout against 200,000. Or are you going to scale down? $100,000 is the bet. Five to one, take it or leave it. Boy, he all up in his feelings. Peter's getting real touchy. Kind of weird to offer someone one to one and five to one in the same sentence. One to one, I think, is reasonable. This is what Jack tweeted. Five to one on a rando event is just easy money. People are responding to this tweet thread with Peter like, what in the world are you doing? It's easy money. Can I get in on this P bet too? Somebody else responded back. I like a mortgage mortgage down payment. I 
I want some side action. Ten million dollar to bet that SVOL can go down another ninety nine percent. Somebody responded to Peter. Peter, you are making a fool of yourself. Apologize and man up to your mistake. Calling it P turns won't stop anyone from taking free money. So yeah, another bad bet. Now, do you think, in your opinion, do you think Bitcoin can reach a hundred thousand dollars by the end of the year? Now, of course, you would say it looks likely now because Bitcoin is trading at all-time highs, up sixty-seven thousand five hundred eighty-five dollars. So you would you would lean more towards it's possible. Yeah, I get it. I know you would say that now, but a whole lot of time is still baked in that needs to occur that can definitely make Bitcoin go a lot lower in price than it go up 47% unfortunately for McCormick wagering on financial assets and their directionality isn't the same as gambling at the horse track or sports betting or lying Thanks to future markets, options, and even crafted EFTs, ETFs, I'm sorry, the directionality of financial assets like Bitcoin can be hedged. And with some pretty simple hedging, Green can structure the bet so that he wins US dollars regardless of whether or not the currency ultimately hits $100,000 this year. Ben Hunt, who's the co-founder of Ellipsian Theory, pointed out that is likely that Green actually hopes to lose the bet in order to gain more US dollars through a successful hedging strategy. While Green didn't disclose his exact strategy, he did tell Protos this is simply an opportunity to highlight the bad math skills of the it's just math crowd, adding that getting to use Peter McCormick's speculative gains to underwrite a much larger possible, possible trade is icing on the cake. They're pretty much saying that Peter's getting played. He's getting played. Meanwhile, McCormick has, through a series of tweets, stated that the bet is for shits and giggles and that Green doesn't understand the point of the bet. He's taking the same reverse mindset like Balaji because now Balaji is going out saying that he did this bet on Bitcoin, reaching a million dollars in 90 days just to prove a point that these economies these governments are printing trillions of dollars seriously now peter is trying to come back out and say it's just only for six shits and giggles and that green doesn't understand the point of the bet no it seems to me like you got flamed on twitter people putting you on blast saying that you don't know what you're talking about that this is a stupid bet everyone should take that opposite side of the bet and now he's looking like Shh, man yeah he did okay let me just tell them that he doesn't understand you know the point of me placing this bet oh now it's just for shits and giggles right McCormick it's quite conceivable that Bitcoin hits a hundred thousand dollars before the end of the year but when making personal bets regarding the price of financial assets it might be best to not be drinking when so confidently agreeing to the terms drinking was he drinking You didn't ask. I did, and I was drinking, so I said yes. Wow. Nothing worse than getting badgered on a good drunk. Good on you. So even here, Peter is confirming that he was drunk or drinking when he made the bet. <laughs> the bet is not confirmed until an individual steps forward to provide escrow. The two gentlemen asked Balaji to do it for them and were apparently denied. So... It doesn't look like the bet is on right now because they didn't find someone to hold the money. But just think about how crazy your mentality has to be just to prove a price direction. That's that's it. That's the gist of this bet. Why are so many Bitcoin maximalists so gung ho of looking for Bitcoin to hit these astronomical numbers? If it hits it, cool. Life will still go on. Bitcoin price will still trade if it hits a hundred thousand dollars. 
okay cool what does it prove in the sense that bitcoin is still an asset that is tradable give me your thoughts make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different